In March 2020, Europe's universities went 100% digital. Overnight, university education was fundamentally and irreversibly disrupted. So how do we reimagine higher education beyond the pandemic? How can we develop a vision for higher education that strengthens the connection between research and education, developing new and appropriate tools to expand the reach, formats and impact of our research-led pedagogic offering? In the future, change will come in six areas. One, the future is not and must not be all digital. The disruption has highlighted the social importance of learning, the impact of isolation on well-being, the depth of the digital divide and the need for flexibility. We need to think creatively on the balance of blended models. Technology will be embedded in the university of the future, from infrastructure to digitally enhanced lecture theatres to wearable technology. We need to develop new ways, however, to enhance what remains the mainstay of most universities, the social learning experience. Two. Research-led universities should lend their distinctive strengths to lifelong learning. Digitalization is among the most powerful forces of societal and economic transformation, requiring more and more people to learn new skills throughout their adult lives. Universities need to strengthen their engagement with lifelong learning and the emphasis on flexible designs. Developing micro-credentials that are recognized across the center and beyond could be an important start. But universities must not compromise on their core mission of educating for active citizenship and long-term societal growth and well-being. Universities must be enabled to respond to this challenge according to their own strengths, notwithstanding the need for harmonization. Three, pedagogic innovation must be accelerated to educate for continuous change and disruption. The sense of urgency to be able to cope with and lead a changing world demands education that encourages students to be curious, active learners. Students need to be open-minded, able to address complex problems. Digital tools, new and established pedagogies are all needed to enable students to explore and apply their learning. However, diversity of needs must be a core part of the learning designs of the future. Universities have the experience and expertise to pave the way if policy, funders and regulators enable them to do so. Four, we must move beyond red tape to develop enabling and flexible regulatory frameworks. Current quality assurance models cause barriers to international collaboration, despite the best intentions of the Bologna process. To be sure, collaboration cannot do without standardization processes which need to provide reassurance. A key challenge for the future, however, lies in how this need for standardization can avoid bureaucratic procedures that are time-consuming and deeply risk-averse. We need quality assurance models that build on trust and enable. Five, we must articulate the added value of international collaboration. We're rediscovering the value of collaboration at the regional, national, European and global levels yet rarely is the value proposition explicitly articulated. Collaboration between different types of institutions, subjects, and at geographical levels can provide new and unique opportunities for students, but these need to be spelled out to determine what type of collaboration adds value in which circumstance. Six, we must invest in the sustainability of pedagogic innovation. Educational vision and change cannot come without investment. The pandemic put enormous pressure on staff and students and has shown that redesign is both possible and resource intensive. We need a viable and pragmatic model for better recognizing the time and effort spent on education innovation. Universities have always changed with society. What's new is the speed of the digital transformation accelerated through the pandemic and the complexity of global problems. They require universities to strengthen research-led education and their students' global skills and mindsets. What does change look like for your institution? How can universities build on their strengths to embrace transformation in new ways? Join us and be part of the conversation.